Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Tammy and this is Happiness Created. Uh, today I have some spring decor that I'd like to share. It is a challenge with um, love, create, celebrate, and Colleen Pasteur. It's a DIY challenge spring edition. Uh, so let's get into this. So the first project i am using this thankful sign and three uh, vases that i am going to turn into milk jugs so i'm taking um, the waverly white chalk paint and i am giving them all just one coat Now I'm just weeding the vinyl uh, that I cut out uh, from my Cricut that I am going to put on the bottles. And now as you can see here, I am taking the thankful sign and I am deconstructing it. Uh, once I get most of the paper off, I had a really hard time with it. So um, I ended up just using um, some sandpaper or the sanding block from Dollar Tree and uh, just kind of going over everything just to try to flatten it out as best I can. Um, and then I am just going to take some more of that white Waverly chalk paint and I am just going to give that one coat uh, just to kind of cover up all of the paper. And now that that's dry, I'm just putting um, it back into the frame. Um, and then I take some of the um, Waverly chalk paint in the elephant color, and I just kind of brush over everything, give it like a little bit of a dry brushing. Um, I do end up going back and wiping some off because I kind of went a little overboard on it. Um, but um, in the end, I think it turned out okay. And now I'm just going to add uh, the vinyl to all of the jars. And now I'm just kind of lining the jars up um, so that I get a, a sense of where I want them uh, before I take my hot glue and uh, glue them into place so that they're not knocking all over the place when I move it. And so I tried to put some of the flowers in and the stems were not long enough. Um, and I didn't want to put 
well, first I didn't have any moss um, to put in there. Um, and I didn't want to put anything too dark because I did only put one coat of the white paint on the jars. So I have this uh, cloth from the um, automotive section of Dollar Tree. And so I just tucked that in there just to kind of prop the flowers up a bit more. And um, I think they, I think it worked out great. And here is the final product. I think it came out so sweet, so stinking cute. Um, I wish I had some different color flowers, but I used what I had. Um, so, but I still think it came out pretty darn cute. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And here is the uh, second project. I just took uh, two of those vases that were, you know, the different shapes the odd shapes um and i just gave them all a coat of the waverly white and then once those are dried um i just take some more of that elephant uh, chalk paint and uh, do a little bit of dry brushing um, i do end up going a little bit overboard with it um, and uh, later on off camera i do end up going over um, the two vases with um, a little bit of the white chalk paint just to cover some of the elephant up And then I'm just going to take a couple packages of those dried flowers that they sold during Valentine's Day. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of tear them apart and uh, place a few of the stems in these bud vases. And that's pretty much all there is to this project. Um, I think they came out pretty cute overall. Um, I guess I'm happy with them. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. And then the next project, I have a mason jar uh, that I got from uh, Dollar General, again at Valentine's Day. Um, and I am just going to take this, I kind of tore it apart already off camera because um, it was giving me a bit of grief, um, but there was some twine wrapped around the top um, and had some little heart tassels. Um, but anyway, so I'm taking the Waverly White chalk paint. As you can see, I need to buy more. Um, and I'm just going to give uh, this mason jar a couple of coats. I believe I did two coats. Um, to cover everything. And then I have these little wooden circles that I got in one of those little variety packs that they sold at the Dollar Tree. Um, so I am just uh, giving them uh, one coat of the Waverly White uh, as well. And now I have one of those cute little uh, purses um, for, you know, a little girl uh, for Easter. And um, I am going to just take that apart um, and uh, hot glue just half of it uh, to the bottom of the mason jar. And then I'll just trim off the excess uh, 
once everything is glued down. And now I'm just taking more vinyl that I cut out on my Cricut um, and uh, weeding it all out uh, and getting it ready to uh, put it on onto <laughs> the mason jar. So as you can see, I am uh, repainting the little circles. Um, I tried writing on the circles and my, <laughs> my writing is terrible. Uh, so it just didn't work out so well for me. Um, and uh, note to self, uh, when you write with a Sharpie on these little wooden pieces, it's extremely hard to cover them. <laughs> So then I just um, take some of the lavender uh, that I got from uh, Walmart and I am going to use that as well as some baby's breath that I got from Dollar Tree and just some greenery that I have in my stash.
And then here I go with probably my fifth or sixth coat of white paint, uh, trying to uh, cover the um, Sharpie marks on uh, these little circles. <laughs> So then I come up with this brilliant idea that I'm going to put some stickers on. Um, however, you could still see the marks. Um, so here I go. I'm going to try again with writing on the uh, little circles again. Um, and of course, it's another fail. So then I take this little pack of um, wooden cutouts that I got from Hobby Lobby and um, I pull out one of the butterflies and just brush it over with some of the white chalk paint and I'm going to attach it to the basket at the bottom. Um, and then I flip it over and take some of the twine from Dollar Tree and just make a little hanger. Um, for the bag in case I want to hang it up on the wall um, and then when that's all done um, I still feel like it's not quite finished so I do end up making a little finger bow with the purple twine um, and then as you can see I colored the um, circles green and used the stickers after all um, so here's the finished product I think it's so so adorable uh, let me know what you guys think so I'd like to thank Wendy from uh, love create celebrate and Colleen Pastor for allowing me to join this challenge. I will have both of their channels linked below as well as the playlist for this challenge. Um, and if you haven't already, um, come visit my channel and I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that um, share button to share with all your family and friends. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye.